I'm agreeing what you already agreed with in your own book, which from a quantifiable, discrete perspective, you can't have an infinite. That's the point I'm trying oh, to make. Discrete. The discrete but, parts. But who says it has to be discrete? Oh, but that's your presupposition. That's no, your presupposition. Actually, you brought your assumptions, Fox News, by the way, no, 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 and no, other no, stuff, no, no. and you think you've got an answer. No, I, I have time. Let me finish this, please. Okay, because yeah. we're going to teach you different calculus. Newton invented a lot of Yeah, time I know, ago. but okay. calculus is based on axioms and conventions in the mathematical realm of discourse. It describes how things work. Yes. Okay. Let, let me make a point. So, that's the first point. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, then you spoke about. For example, zero is simple as, an, as, as Occam's razor. Again, you've, you've misconstrued what Occam's razor is. Occam's razor is not only the simplest explanation, but it has, has, to, has to have greater explanatory scope and explanatory okay. power. Zero has no explanatory scope of, or power concerning the origins of the universe from oh, that perspective. I'll explain it how it does. The other point I like, I like to make 